Yo, what's going on with you guys? My name is Kenneth, aka One Week, and today I'm going to talk about the UFC 232 main event, the rematch between Johnny Bones Jones versus Alexander the Mauler Gustafson, and it's going to be a barn burner because the first fight was the fight of the year in uh, it was around 2015. Uh, as far as I remember, yes, it was the fight of the year in that year and yes They made it and now it's going to happen again the rematch between John Bones Jones and Gustafson For the UFC light heavyweight championship uh, Daniel Cormier is being stripped of this title and it's it's, uh, it's open it's upper grabs for uh, these two amazing uh, 205 fighters and let's get started it's uh, age factor uh, both are still young John Jones is still 31 years old and also Gustafson 31 years old uh, they're not in their early stages of their career but uh, resume wise yeah they're at the top of the 205 division overall and that's good for them John Bones Jones the former uh, UFC uh, light heavyweight champion defended this title many times and uh, Alexander Gustafsson is always on the top five UFC fighters uh, in the planet and yes I'm just excited for this one and next one and their uh, their record I want to mention John Bones Jones record 20, 22 wins with one loss uh, via disqualification he was disqualified for the, for uh, this loss and zero draws and one no contest because his fight with Daniel Cormier uh, his last fight last year it was overturned into a no contest because he was positive for some uh, PEDs and they're not sure about it but still it was a no contest and uh, the judges gave a de uh, decision for that and he paid for it and for Gustafson uh, 18 wins and 4 losses and now I want to mention their uh, Finishes for John Jones 22 wins, uh, 9 KO, 6 submissions, and 7 decisions. You can see uh, John Jones' uh, KO, uh, KO ratio rate is much more higher than his uh, submission rate, uh, but still, it is good for Gustafson. 18 wins, uh, 11 by KOs, 11, 3 by submission, and 4 by decision. Uh, you can see how Gustafson dominates his. Uh, stand-up skills compared to his submission skills 11 wins by KO wow that's pretty high for a uh, top uh, UFC 205 uh, fighter next one achievements for John Jones is just is just the best fighter so far in this generation uh, two-time former UFC heavyweight lightweight champion and in this uh, if he wins this fight he will be the first uh, three-time UFC lightweight champion he's also the former uh, interim lightweight champion eight uh, successful title defenses in the UFC lightweight division and the longest UFC lightweight winning light heavyweight winning streak with 16 and 9 performance bonuses for Johnny Bones Jones is my favorite UFC fighter uh, UFC, UFC champion uh, favorite fighter and for Gustafson, 5 performance bonuses, 10-4 in his UFC record, fight of the year award, yes, oh, not, oh, it's 2013, not 2015, I'm sorry, I just check it uh, right now, it's 2013, his fight with Johnny Bones Jones, so uh, that's good for them, and, and that's the reason why you're just going to expect fireworks in this fight, because in their first fight, they just went all out, all 5 rounds, uh, Gustafson had uh, great moments in that fight and also Johnny Bones Jones, uh, Johnny Bones Jones uh, showing his heart of a champion, his tough as nails and so on and so forth and for fighting style John Jones what I like about John Jones his balance striking why he uses his uh, punches well elbows, knees and kicks uh, very well he doesn't lack like elbows and knees uh, like most of the fighters he just so balanced when he punches and when he clinch it's he he usually throws an elbow or a knee and that's
it's pretty good for John Jones, tall guy and a lengthy guy with uh, great striking. Big advantage for him and for uh, Gustafson, Gustafson, a uh, former boxer, and he's still a boxing based in uh, UFC and or in MMA. Uh, still good, great boxer in uh, in their division. John Jones creative combos, as I said, balance striking. He mixes up the elbows and the punches, kicks and knees. Uh, big plus for John Jones, very good, and for. Uh, Alexander Gustafsson, this is kind of the unique style of uh, Gustafsson because as I watch UFC 205 fighters, they're all aggressive and Alexander Gustafsson is the only fighter who has defensive tactics which is um, gives him superiority compared to others because he moves well, his head movement is good and his footwork is his uh, main talent in this division and he has speed even though he is 6'5 and that's good and for John Jones take down ground and pound elbows uh, bones is the best uh, nickname for him because his elbows just so much for any UFC fighter and for Alexander Gustafsson angles Jones uh, taking the ground and pound while Gustafsson uh, handling his angles during the stand up game so it's like yeah, John Jones, uh, for me, John Jones uh, is much more a uh, better fighter in the ground than in stand-up, while Gustafsson is a far more better stand-up fighter than on the ground. But my prediction goes to, uh, in their first fight, it was a close fight. I gave Gustafsson the first two rounds, but I gave Johnny Bones Jones the last three rounds, no doubt about it. He showed his heart, and... Yes, he can do it all, but for this one, I'm going to pick John Jones TKO round 4. I truly believe John Jones is far more better fighter now than he was before. And for Gustafsson, I think he's better now, but John Jones is just on another level compared to every fighter. And that's the reason why he's the best. Even though he was caught for many times, but for me, he's still the best and he will win this fight. For sure so Johnny Bones Jones if you're watching this uh, uh, do your best and don't mess up anything <clears throat> thank you so much and uh, what's next for John Jones and for me after this fight he should fight Cormier for the light uh, for the heavyweight title and it will uh, be the best fight in this it was it will be the fight of the century for mixed martial arts John Jones versus Cormier once again for the third time in the heavyweight division like wow it was just it will be just wow for the fans a uh, good uh, good resume uh, resume for him and also good fight for the fans maybe the best fight for the fans and for Gustafsson I think he should fight Volkan Ozdemir if Ozdemir wins or even if he loses uh, today to uh, Anthony Smith but for me that's the best fight for him uh, Gustafsson versus uh, Ozimir, both stand-up fighters, both stand-up boxing fighters in the UFC. Uh, Ozimir being the aggressive boxing guy, a uh, boxing guy, while uh, Gustafsson being the defensive boxing guy, and it will it will be perfect for Gustafsson. It will showcase his boxing skills and his overall asset in his boxing. While John Jones and Cormier, yes, will be waiting for this one and. I just can't wait for that fight. It will be Cormier's last fight versus John Jones. I think he, uh, it will be a great fight for Cormier. Uh, redemption for John Jones and for uh, for his career because his only loss was to John Jones. And he, yes, the second fight it, it was overturned to a no contest. And I'm just really excited about this one. It will be a legacy for him. And that's it guys, thank you for watching and see you soon, peace!